Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's webinar, What's New in Twinmotion 2019? Witness live the extremely easy workflow from BIM to real-time visualization in Twinmotion 2019. Learn to produce high-quality images, panoramas, standard, or 360 degrees videos using this award-winning 3D immersion software designed for architecture. But not just architecture, also for construction, urban planning, and landscape professional. Today's webinar presenter, Martin Kreisman, joined the Twinmotion team about five years ago and is specialized in real-time technology and rendering. Martin started as a CG artist working on the Twinmotion library. He is currently the product manager of Twinmotion, creating a bridge between the clients and the development team. Noveg is on the other hand, one of the largest online stores for design software, and we offer you a assortment of software solutions that cater to virtually every designer's needs. As you can see, this is the page where we have Twinmotion, and um, you can see it's their accessible website, uh, lots of information, and really easy to process. Uh, visit us at novage.com. And now I'm going to give you instruction to um, follow our demo today. So GoToWebinar is a great broadcasting tool, but in order to display Twinmotion uh, in all its power and with no time lag, we all need to migrate to YouTube, yes. So we just created a link and posted it on the chat box inside the control panel. So if you go right now, you'll see it. Uh, message me if you can't, but uh, so, when you click on the link, you enter the live demo of Twinmotion 2018 on YouTube. Um, so you can follow the entire webcast there, but do, do not log out of GoToWebinar because this is where you can submit your questions or comments that will be answered at the end of the webinar. In short, this is what you need to do now. Open the chat box in the control panel, the tab where it says chat, click on the YouTube link, enjoy the live demo, and come back to go to webinar for Q&A. So hopefully everything is clear. We give everybody a couple of minutes to uh, join the link, and then we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Uh, thank you, Barbara, for the, the quick introduction. Um, I'm going to wait a, a couple of minutes, so everybody uh, is uh, joining in, and then I will start with uh, with the, a quick introduction of uh, of what is Twin Motion and uh, what it is used for. So yes, I'm just going to wait uh, for people for people to come in. I'm still going to wait a, a couple, uh, maybe a one minute or so. Yeah, I see that people start to, to join in. So, uh, so as I said, I would just um, wait uh, one minute or so, so people will uh, will join the, the webinar, and once everybody is logged in, uh, we'll start uh, the actual presentation. So yeah, everybody is joining right now. So um, actually, let me just launch up Stream Motion, and maybe we can we can get started. So hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for this quick presentation of Twinmotion. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm Twinmotion Product Manager. I'm here to uh, introduce you to uh, Twinmotion 2019. Um, 
I will start with uh, a quick introduction, uh, what is Twinmotion, then I will dive into the, the software showing you Twinmotion uh, key features. And as Barbara said, at the end, uh, we'll just switch back to go to webinar for a live Q&A. So if you have some questions, keep them in mind and I will take time to answer all of them uh, back in go to webinar. So first off, uh, what is Twinmotion? Twinmotion is a real-time visualization software dedicated to architecture. Um, it's, um, it's, um, with Twinmotion, we have created what we call the add-ins that create a direct link between the CAD software and the visualization software. So for both ArchiCAD and Revit, you have those add-ins that allow you in just one click to synchronize your CAD data and bring them into Twinmotion, where you can start to navigate and, and immerse yourself into real time. So uh, here we are just after this synchronization with Revit. During this synchronization, we do a few things. We, of course, first uh, import the geometry, the project itself, the 3D. And we do a few things automatically, seamlessly. For example, all the vegetation that you can see here has been automatically replaced during this synchronization. In the CAD software, the vegetation is usually just a basic billboard with the shape of a tree. And during this synchronization uh, with Revit, we have automatically replaced all those basic billboards with Twinmotion 3D animated trees, which react to the whole ecosystem present inside the software. We do the same for the characters, the materials, and the vehicles as well. Here, as we can see, we are in the mountain terrain. The terrain is also one feature of Twinmotion. It was originally a topographic survey, a point cloud file that we imported into Twinmotion, and now it reacts to the different terrain tools that we have inside the software. So for example, here, if I select my terrain by just clicking on it, at the bottom of the screen, I can see two different options. Let's enter the Sculpt option. Here we have different tools. The first one will help me to raise the terrain. The second one can dig holes. And maybe on this part of my project, I want to create an extension of the building. So we can just, for example, use the Flatten tool. That will just basically flatten uh, the whole geometry of my terrain. As you can see on the side here, it automatically changed the materials. It's depending of the inclination of the geometry. But you can also manually change those materials. Let me just come back in my breadcrumb into the landscape dock and now enter the paint option. Here you have different materials that you can use to just basically paint on your terrain. So let me start to, for example, uh, paint this forest ground. So as you can see, I'm really quickly changing the material on my terrain by simply using some kind of airbrush. can switch to a grass one, for example. So as you can see, it's fairly simple. While uh, the majority of the trees that you can see on the screen has been automatically replaced during this synchronization with my CAD software, we can also manually place trees directly from Twinmotion native library. So we open up the library, it's the panel on the left that you can see now. Uh, this library is native from the software, that means that when you buy, when you install the software, you have access to all those assets. In this library, we can find materials dedicated to architecture, so we have some bricks, wood, stones, glass, metals. Then we have the vegetation folder, where you will find trees, grass, uh, flowers, rocks the furniture, lights, characters, vehicles, volume, and also the user library. The user library allows you uh, to create your own material, to import your own uh, piece of furniture, for example, and just save them inside Twinmotion user library. So you will be able to use them for every future project. So right now we were talking about vegetation. So let's enter the vegetation folder, tree folder, and to add some tree, I can just simply drag one tree from my library to my viewport. It's really simple. Just a basic drag and drop from the library to my viewport. The front one, like this. To uh, mass plant vegetation, we also have created what we call the vegetation tool. I will come back in my nature doc, vegetation. 
Here I will select my grass. I have my pen selected. I will just change the diameter of my pen. And now I can just basically paint some grass on my terrain. It's really simple. So as you can see, in just a couple of clicks, I've, uh, I've changed this wall area from a dirty, uh, a dirty ground to uh, a fully uh, vegetalized uh, small park. So all that you can see on screen, if I just uh, pause a bit the camera, as you can see, uh, my leaves, my grass is reacting to the wind. It's because in Twinmotion we have a complete ecosystem that reacts with uh, the different uh, events that can appear on the, on, in the software. So again, let me come back in my great breadcrumb in the nature doc and now enter the weather doc. So here we have two basic sliders. The first one is controlling the cloud coverage. So if I start to drag this one here, cloud will appear, more cloud, and at some point it will rain, which affects automatically all the material of my project. There is nothing to do with that, it's automatic. The second slider here is controlling the season. So we start at the summer, we are going through fall. In fall, uh, leaves turn yellow and red, and leaves start to actually fall from the trees, as you can see here. And we can even switch uh, to the winter. In winter, some trees lost their leaves. The snow uh, cover, uh, recover all the, the objects and the materials. And even the river here just froze. And now again, if I come back to my first slider and I add more clouds, it won't rain anymore because it's recalled really outside. It will actually snow. So as you can see, everything is done in a few clicks. Going back to our sunny delight. So we already talked a bit about the import with the add-in for ArchiCAD and Revit, but we are also compa um, compatible with uh, most CAD software on the world because we can import some basic format like FBX, OBG, uh, C4D. We are also compatible with uh, the SketchUp native file format. So with any CAD software, we can, uh, we, uh, we can find a way to import the, 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 the 3D data inside Twinmotion. We already talked about um, the terrain, the different tools, the vegetation. Maybe now it's time to create uh, some media and export them. To create a media, we'll come to the media section. So here I have the four different types of media we can export with Twinmotion. I will start with the image. To create a new image, it's really simple. I will just click on the big plus button, create image. Actually, it creates a, a new point of view in the space. I can change, of course, this point of view. And I will just refresh my point of view by clicking on a small refresh button. If I enter the more of this specific image, here I will enter the advanced properties of this specific image. In the visual effects section, for example, I can enable the clear render, which will turn all my project white. In the camera settings doc, we have a few options. For example, the perspective correction that will straighten the verticals. We can also change the output size, for example. By default, every media is created in full HD. We can switch from three, uh, three different presets. But if you enter the more option, you can also change a custom one. And with Streammotion, we can create media up to 8K resolution. So we have created the image. Let's straight uh, go to the export panel, select the image we just created together, and click on Start Export. I will send this to my desktop. Just wait a couple of seconds and here we go. My image is created. Let me just switch to my desktop. And actually, let me just share it so you can see it. And here we go. Here I have my image that took me just a couple of seconds to render in full HD. And again, we can go up to 8K resolution with Twinmotion. So back to Twinmotion. Back to Twinmotion, I will quit this media mode. And now what I can enable, what I can put myself in is what we call the beam motion mode. The beam motion mode is a full screen mode where you can enable the physics. That means that I am currently walking on the ground. It's a new uh, way, more, it's a new immersive way to um, 
to experience and navigate around your project. At any moment in this mode, you can also open the menu, switch from the pedestrian mode to the drone mode where you can um, get higher and, and fly through your project. Here we can also change the time of day, change the season, stuff like that. So um, I was talking about the season. You can also at any time make Sun Study with Twin Motion by simply clicking on the I button here and changing the time of day. So now let's come inside our project. So when we designed Twinmotion, our main goal was to create a simple software with a really friendly user UI. There is tons of rendering software around the market, but th the idea behind Twinmotion was to create something simple, something that's uh, some kind of plug and play solution. So when we designed uh, Twinmotion, uh, we are focused our efforts on creating a software with a simple UI. This UI consists of three major panels. The first one on the left is the library. I've already uh, talked a bit about it. At the bottom of the screen, we have what we call the doc. Actually, before I will talk about the doc, let me just open back my library and, for example, change the material. I will enter the material section, enter the what we can uh, select concrete one, for example. And same as I did with the tree, I will just basically drag and drop a material from my library to my viewport. As simple as that. Going back to uh, my doc, so it's the second panel inside Twinmotion user interface. And here in this panel, we will find all the options, the tools and the settings. For example, here my polished concrete is still selected, so I have a few options regarding this specific material. I can, for example, change the color of my material to make it lighter, darker, or a bit more warm. We can change the reflection of the material, we can change the scale, and many other options. And finally, uh, the third most important panel is the one that you can find on the right over here. It's uh, what we call the send graph. It's basically where you have all the hierarchy of your project. It's basically a layer system that you can turn on and off. And we also keep the hierarchy of your modeling software. So all uh, the hierarchy you have set up will be saved when you import your project inside Twinmotion. Going back to the different type of media we can export to Twinmotion. We already saw the image. We can also export with uh, some video, so 3D video, 360 video. So it's a video that you can put, for example, on YouTube or play with a specific uh, media player. But on YouTube, you just play your video on, for example, your smartphone and your tablet, and you will be able to just turn your tablet around and visualize your project in any direction. We also have what we call the beam motion. The beam motion is basically uh, um, a standalone executable file that allows you to. Um, basically, this file you can send it to your client. It's the final, uh, the final. How can I say that? It's 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 the final digital model that you can send to your client, so he can immerse himself into his project. It doesn't require twin motion, so it's just basically a standalone viewer of your 3D model. And we also have uh, the panorama. The panorama is basically a, a, a 360 image uh, that you can send to our online platform that is called Twinlinker, where you can chain panorama together to create some kind of virtual visit of your project. One of the most also important feature of Twinmotion, uh, I can't really show you on this specific project because it's it's uh, it's uh, it's on it's in mountain project. So let me actually change uh, change and load a, a new project. Um, this new feature, actually, it's, it's not a new feature. This it's it's a key feature from Twinmotion. Is it's what we call the pass system. The pass system allows you to, to populate really quickly to bring animation to your project really quickly. So here I'm just waiting a couple of seconds to load uh, my project. Uh, it's it's a big project. It's a, it's a project made with uh, Archicad. Uh, some of you may recognize the, the project. It's the NHS uh, project, one of the Archicad uh, demo file. Sorry, here is it. 
So um, as you can see here, we have some cars and people driving. Let me actually open the send graph and remove those paths so I can better show you how to create those. So let me just select my three vehicle paths, delete them. I will close this. To create a path, I will first start to enter the um, urban dock pass. And here we have four different paths. We have the characters pass that obviously uh, had some characters. Uh, it's the, the one that you can see on the side walls over here. The vehicle pass that will create uh, cars. The bicycle car pass, it's, uh, it's obvious. And the custom pass allow you to animate pretty much anything in a translation. So let's enter the vehicle pass. I will, I will press the G shortcut to enable uh, what we call the visual helper. It's just uh, some, uh, some visual help that allow you to select different objects. So for example, if I'm coming uh, close to my road, all those blue dots here is representing some decals that you have on the road. For example, here is just a basic asphalt patch. Just, it just brings more realism to my roads. So here I'm just going back to my uh, urban dock pass. I will select the vehicle pass. Here I'm going to select my pen. And here I will just basically create my pass. I'm just turning the camera. I will uh, disable my tool. And once I, uh, once I relieve my tool, the car will automatically start to drive on my pass. And as I said before, at the bottom of the screen, we have some options regarding the specific object selected. So here I have the option regarding the path of vehicles. I can change, for example, the lane count like this. We can change the density of cars. We can change the speed even of the car. And so that's pretty, pretty much it. It's, it's a really a simple way to bring animation to your project. And at the end, what is also really important to keep in mind with Twinmotion is that at any time, if you have a VR headset plugged in inside your computer, it's just a one click to switch to virtual reality. So going from your CAD model with the add-ins to Twinmotion is done in only one click. So you are in Revit, in Archicad, you just click on the See in Twinmotion button. It will import your whole project, you have nothing else to do, it's just waiting a couple of seconds. Your project load inside Twinmotion with the automatic, re automatic replacement of material, vegetation, characters and cars. And right away, you can press the F10 shortcut to switch to virtual reality. And here, virtu in virtual reality, we are bringing uh, some new option with this latest version of Twinmotion, where you can change weather, or change the time of the uh, move, of course, inside your project, apply some materials, even call different phases of your project. So I think we are reaching the end of this quick uh, presentation, this quick introduction to Twinmotion. Uh, thanks everyone for, for being, with, uh, being with us today. We will switch back now to, uh, to go to webinar where I will take time to answer all of your questions. So don't leave us, just switch back to go to webinar if you have some questions. Thank you so much, Martin. That was amazing. Thank you, Barbara. My that pleasure. was wonderful. <laughs> okay, let me sure everybody's seeing us. Okay. So, first of all, Q&A time. So, don't be shy. Let us know um, if you have any question about this new version and uh, if you missed something about the webinar, uh, if you got in late, you can see the recording on our Noveg or Vimeo channels as early as tomorrow. So, um, I'll give you a few times to elaborate those questions or inquiries. Um, Martin? Okay, yes. can you hear me? Okay, there was a yes, little yes. delay. I, um, so I'll give uh, our attendees a few minutes to make the transition, maybe a few yeah, seconds. Sure, sure. It, well, it, they're not commuting from <laughs> across the bridge or <laughs> uh, across the state. Okay. Um, 
Question number one, I live in the Sonoran Desert and I need to use desert plants. How can I bring in 3D models of desert plants to use in my models? So as I, were talking, as I was talking during the presentation, uh, we have inside in motion what we call the user library. So you can find there is um, on on the web there is a lot of uh, tree library like for example xfrog or uh, or speed tree that creates tree uh, library of vegetation assets and if you have some asset like this you can just import them inside tune motion and then you inside tune motion you can just save them inside your user library so you will be able to to add them to your project for every future project so it's a way you can you can add your own custom vegetation to to your project Perfect. Does it have to be in any particular format? No, the, the best format, the, the most optimized format for TuneMotion is the FBX, but, uh, but we support plenty of different file formats. Okay, great. Great news. All right. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? This is your chance, guys. Don't let Martin go without squeeze some questions out of, some answers mm -hmm. out of him. Um, it's such a treat uh, because you really are you know, are the bridge between users and development. So you're yes. the right person that we want yes, exactly. in this case. <laughs> um, but I guess I don't see questions. I guess um, everybody is uh, satisfied with the presentation. I want to, uh, but I still wait. I'm, I'm now giving up. I still want to show you um, the product page at novedge.com where you can find Twinmotion. You can always call us if you need a particular uh, number of seats or a particular um, license. We are always happy to talk to you. Our phone number is on every page and um, we're very happy to um, help you not make mistakes and get the wrong uh, license. So, okay, we have a couple of more questions. Is there plan? Are there plans in the making for plugin for Vectorworks? Uh, yes, there is plans for for add-ins with Vectorworks. Uh, I can't really say when it will release. Uh, because there our to do list is a, there is a lot of stuff on it but uh, but yes in the future you can expect to have a, to have more add-ins so we wanted to begin with archicad and revit because it's the, the most commonly used architecture software around the world but uh, but we want to 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 have more of those add-ins for more software of course okay great this is great news um Another comment, more and, and also question uh, from Jamie. Uh, I've used XFrog plans exported as FBX into Emotion and saved the objects to the user library, but the textures are often lost and need to be relinked. What am I doing wrong? How can I avoid this? I'm not sure which version you are using. With with Tune Motion 2018, so with our previous version, we had uh, we had some issue with the user library. It was not perfect. So when you are importing and saving object, uh, you had this kind of of trouble, this kind of problem when reloading the the, the assets. Uh, but all those issues has been fixed in Twinmotion 2018, so now the user library is working perfectly and it should have fixed those kind of issues. So if you are still experiencing this kind of issue in 2019, I suggest you can contact the, the technical, the Twinmotion technical support. Uh, but I, I think you you were you really were in uh, Twinmotion 2018. Yeah, I think that's what is. Yeah, he confirmed. Just mm. confirmed that. Okay. Yes. yes. So and, everything has been fixed regarding the user library in the latest version. Upgrade, you guys. Okay, uh, I want to use my 3D connection space mouse for navigation. Are there plans to integrate? Uh, yes, there is plan, but it's it's not uh, it's it's not for tomorrow. Uh, I have to be honest. Uh, not of tomorrow? The, what? <laughs> the, I, I often ask some uh, some requests like this, but uh, but it's it's not planned for for the next release. Okay. And when you do that, I want to remind everybody that we do also sell the 3DS uh, mouse, 3D mouse from TDX connection. Just just throwing it out there. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Um, we're listening and um, waiting another couple of seconds. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap it up. In the meantime, I want 
to remind you to visit Noved, but not just on our website. We, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. And if you missed today's presentation, you can watch it again, even if you get in late, you can see it in its entirety on our Novad YouTube and Vimeo channel as early as tomorrow, uh, no sooner than that for this time. Um, I see no more questions. Thank you so much, Martin. It was always wonderful to see what Twin Motion is up to. Very entertaining, you, very fun. And uh, have a great rest of the night in Paris and uh, have a great rest of the day, everybody else. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.